Okay, so today I'm going to do a quick video on a great tool for managing your new website, and it certainly comes in handy when you're managing more than one website. And the name of the tool is the Color Pick, and here it is. Um, I've downloaded it already, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about how it works, and then um, I'll show you different ways that you can uh, create your color schemes. So here it comes with several palettes that are already loaded. Um, that you can choose colors from. Um, and here are some of the websites that I manage on my own and uh, I have the color schemes for all of those websites. And this way if I ever need to make any changes or I want to add a page or I want to do a matching um, graphic or an ad, I can you know just pull this tool out and I have all of the colors that I've used and everything matches the website. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go and I'll show you how to download the tool for yourself. So I'm just going to put this down and we're going to go to Iconico.com. Okay, and as soon as it comes up, you're going to go over here where it says free tools, click on the color pick and then uh, the page for the download is right here. So you're just going to click on the download, follow the instructions, and it'll download um, onto your computer. And then once it's downloaded, you can open it up and um, follow the rest of this video and I'll show you how to use it. Because when I first downloaded it myself, it was a little bit frustrating because, at least for me, I had some trouble learning how to use it. So anyway, um, the first thing we're going to do is show you how to um, pick colors out of a graphic or a website that you like. So let's go back to Google. Today's Martin Luther King Day and they have this graphic here and it has about four different colors in it. So let's pull these colors out and we'll name them. So let's name them for the new website. Okay, that's it, just that. Okay, and now we have a fresh palette over here. All of the squares are empty. So in order to get the first color, you click on an empty square. Then you come over, let's pull this blue, and you hit Control G, and that grabs the color. Then you go to the next square. Let's grab this, um, this mustard color, Control G. Then we go and click on an empty square. Let's get the, um, this brown here. Control G. And the last one we're going to pick is this off white from the Dove. Control G. Okay, and that's how easy it is to create a palette just from another website, or in this case, we used a graphic. Now, there's two other um, tools that I want to show you in case you want to create your own palettes. The first one is we're going to uh, go to cooler, K-U-L-E-R dot adobe dot com. And this is another uh, color tool. This is probably understood more by somebody who really studied color theory. I don't know what they're talking about here. But occasionally I've wanted to get a color that matched one of the colors or was a complementary color. And this site did come in quite handy. You can, you know, move these tools all around and these little dots down here you can move and uh, you know you can create some different colors and see how they look next to some other colors so anyway that's one tool and then the next one is if you go to the um, w3cschools.com okay and you click on CSS Okay, I'm on the CSS page. If you go all the way down to the bottom, there are some reference lists here. And you're going to go down to the one that says CSS Color Names. And if you click on that, uh, that's going to bring up this long list of, first it gives you the color name, then it gives you the hex number, and then an example of what the color is. So say you're looking at this, this lime green here and it's a little too limey, so to speak, it's a little too bright, so you can click on the shades and then um, this will pop up here and then you can pick like a lighter shade or a lighter tone of the same color 
or a darker and that's quite helpful too so I think all in all with those tools you'll be able to uh, create whatever color palette that you need and then with this little tool here you'll always have them at your fingertips and you'll be able to manage more than one website with it as well so if you found this video helpful please like comment and subscribe check out my website and blog at www.deerfieldwebdesigner.com for more how-to videos and thanks for watching